Hello, I'm Shansonique Cowens. And I'm Jordan A. Smith. And right now we're doing a giveaway. What's and pizza? Yes, any pizza you want. Well, any large pizza. You know. Two toppings. And you make it, you, I mean, you call it in and we'll pay for it. Yeah, so you can hit us up on our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Hashtag, Hashtag talk for pizza. Talk for pizza. Yeah. You want the pizza, you want to eat it, you can, you know, you can go pick it up, you can walk and eat it, you can, you know, I wouldn't recommend driving and eating, you might want two hands on the wheel, but however you want to do that to your it's pizza. It's paid for. It's already paid for, it's free. Talk yeah. for pizza. First person who, you know, gives it a hashtag or likes it, likes it on Facebook or tells us about it, you get your pizza, you win it, and just let us know. You call it in and we'll pay for it. So fair for teens. Talk uh, for pizza, <laughs> over, over, out. Looks like two good things to go. So, once again, I'm Shansonique Cowens. Jordan A. Smith. And this has been our giveaway. Hello, I'm Jordan A. Smith. And I'm Shansonique Cowens. And we are Talk Back for Teens. We're here today with some youth news. I have about two stories for you. And I have two also. All right, let's get right into it. So, Courtney Allegra, have you ever heard that name? Hashtag it down. Courtney Allegra is our 16-year-old fashion designer. Um, I believe she's a San Diego native, and she's like taking this world by storm with her wonderful fashion. It's very fun. It's very girly, and it's um it's awesome. I just heard the story recently, and I was so inspired by it. So this summer, instead of um, going to the beach, looking at colleges. She will be planning her fall line and her uh, winter line, which is crazy. Oh, that's cool. And she's only 16? She's only 16. So oh, wow. I think that's fabulous. She's building her fashion empire. You can check her out at, let me get it right, Courtney Allegra, Courtney-Allegra.Shopify.com. And yeah, I, I thought that was pretty awesome. That is pretty cool. Yeah. And so to get on to some more serious stuff, the big fish, we will say, um, if you ever heard the name Chris Kreez, Chris Kreez was a 19-year-old who just um, got famous. <laughs> so you know how we always talk about the YouTube famous people? But he actually did something. So he was out on the Gulf of Mexico, and mm -hmm. um, he's, he was out on the Gulf of Mexico fishing, and he sees this big, massive fish beside his boat. So what does he do? He doesn't take a picture, he doesn't Instagram it, no. He jumps in, grabs the top fin, and rides it for 10 seconds. And oh, whoever wow. he's with, whoever is accompanying him, gets it and put it on YouTube. I thought that was crazy. That is. And so you have to understand, this fish is a, a shark whale, a whale shark, sorry. And it is 30 feet long and 50,000 weight in weight like in pounds that's about as big as a bus right yeah that's huge it is huge and so he jumps on top of it he grabs it and he only stops because he said he felt resistance from the whale shark and he didn't want to upset you know, it <laughs> yeah, at yeah all. you don't want to get killed by that thing it's you know crazy and so a lot of people are debating whether this should be considered um animal mm. cruelty yeah i didn't even when i first I thought, thought of that like when you were telling me that but it I can just see seems now, so awesome you know i can see now how they could have thought it was bothersome to the you know well shirt yeah and on their facebook po their facebook post on their youtube post they say that um no harm was done to the animal and things like that but it's many biologists and um marine lovers that commented and were very upset by it so just be aware and definitely check him out check out the youtube it is I was pretty impressed. It's a 30 second minute, it's a 30 second video because he wrote it for four, 10 seconds. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. And so what do you have for us today? Uh, okay, so I have two stories about two awesome teens who did great things in their communities. So the first one was there was an 18 year old girl, an 18 year old girl named um, Jessica, and I'm not even gonna try her last name because, you know, kinda. <laughs> I'm not gonna you know butcher it like that, but she's from Texas, and her and six other friends happened to be sleeping in a farmhouse when she woke up and noticed that the farmhouse, like she woke up to the smell of smoke, and noticing that the farmhouse, the corn of it, was catching fire. 
So she was screaming, screaming for everyone to get up, shaking them, waking them up, want everybody to get out of the house, making sure. Like her first mindset wasn't to, oh, you know, oh, snap, the house is on fire. Let's let get out. out. It me. was more like, let me get my friends out, which was very heroic of her because she thought of her friends before herself. And so that way, with all the girls getting out, only one girl actually got injured, suffering from first and second degree burns. Okay. But even one of her friends who tripped and twisted her ankle, she, you know, hoisted her up and put her arm around her shoulder and asked, like helped her out of the building. Awesome. So that was very, very heroic of her and very brave. So they're all alive, they're all well? All alive, all well, all healthy, except for, you know, the one girl has like, you know, a few first and second degree burns, but it's nothing too serious. Nothing compared to dying, man. Yeah. Like, with stories like that, you don't expect people to die, but you almost, you know, you know what's coming up. Because yeah. six girls, that's I mean, awesome. one's bound to be left behind, you know. So it's sort of like, oh wow, all of them got out. That's, you know, that's pretty amazing. Awesomeness. So I have another teen. Um, who, um, I don't have her name, but she saw, like, all the little, um, clips that we used to watch in elementary school about, you know, the little bill that became a law and with the songs and everything that we grew up watching and for, like, social studies and stuff. That girl took that idea and just went with it. She went and started thinking about, you know, and this is in, um, San Diego, so, you know, just like your other story, yeah. I guess a lot of good things are happening <laughs> in California, Diego. you know? Yeah. But, um, yeah, she took this idea and she thought about the fact that they have a hunger action day. Mm -hmm. And she went and looked into that and noticed that a lot of military family, kids, and seniors are going hungry each day. So what she did was she created, she created a fund called Donate, Don't Dump because she looked into it and it turns out there's a lot of good food that's being dumped into landfills that people aren't wow. eating. They aren't finishing. They're just throwing food away. And... You know, even I hear my parents say that, you know, Americans waste food and stuff like that. And it's it's pretty true because you can, I mean, you can go to anyone's trash and see food that could have been finished and you could have eaten that someone else would have wanted and they just throw it out because, you know, they yeah. have the ability to do that. I personally love that story because um, so many times we think about world hunger or somebody being hungry. We think about somewhere over in the middle of Eastern whatever. Yeah. But it is happening right here in, in the middle of U.S. of A. So mm. that's awesome. And it's awesome that she created an organization that will help others eat. Yeah. They, um, so yeah, that's part of their donation. They want people to donate the food, extra food they have in the house and not throw it out. Mm -hmm. And also there's a bill that she's working to become law and it's the SB 134, no hunger for heroes bill. So oh, that is good. That, yeah. Pretty we, sure she's getting a lot of support with that one. Yeah. I think we definitely should do more to support our veterans. It's no way, it's no reason they should be the ones who are going hungry. Mm -hmm. I mean, if somebody got to go hungry, it shouldn't be the ones that fought for the country. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm Jordan A. Smith. I'm Shansonee Cowens. And this is Talk Back for Teens. Make Thank sure you. to visit us on Talk Back for Teens. That's the number four, mm -hmm. our website. And um, you can check us out on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all of that. We're here. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. The song's for you, James, one last time. Because he's on the Mars, and I'm free.
Desolate cave 